Mason is fighting to protect one of the Queen City's gems while the Queen City of Charlotte is working to steal it. That's right. Mason City Council approved a $15 million incentive today. They want to keep the Western and Southern Open Tennis Tournament from relocating, of course, to North Carolina. I team reporter Dan Monk asked a nationally known site search consultant which Queen City will win. We want you here. We're going to keep you here. State Senator Steve Wilson spoke for many in Mason when he told BMA Capital the ATP tournament belongs in the Queen City of the West, not the North Carolina town named for an actual queen. And as the ATP grew and as this venue grew, we took the young players into our homes. We loaned them our cars. This is a tennis community. A tennis community that's offering cash. Mason expects its $15 million incentive will be joined by a $10.5 million commitment from Warren County and $25 million from the state of Ohio. I think it's always positive when you see, you know, variety levels of government plus business community come together. I think we have a really compelling story um, and we're hopeful that it's, it's sufficient. Kim Lauterbach with Ready Cincinnati thinks Mason's offer can win the day. So does Julie Calvert with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. I think we're going to win, yeah. I do think we're going to win. Today's incentives will cover about a third of a $150 million expansion that BMA Capital needs to host an expanded Western Southern Tournament in 2025. But the company says the Mason facility needs $225 million in additional upgrades after that. We asked Mason Mayor Barbara Spaeth if additional subsidy will be needed. I'm I think we have to take it one step at a time, and that right now we're on step one. We asked National Site Search consultant John Boyd if Mason can retain the event. Based upon everything I'm seeing, it, it looks to me like this will be relocated to Charlotte. Boyd said BMOC's founder, Ben Navarro, lives in Charleston and knows the Charlotte business community well. The economic development community there is really putting on a full court press to make this happen. He's also the developer of the $400 million tennis facility that would host the tournament if it relocates to Charlotte. Bank of America is taking a proactive role to help bring this tournament to Charlotte. You're seeing very highly influential public affairs consultants working behind the scenes to get this deal done. Dan Monk, WCPO 9 News.